Good evening, everybody. Time now for a long-awaited Blu-ray and 4K update for December 15th, 2023. And for the past six months, but I have not been made a video on here in six months. And throughout those past six months, I gotten two Blu-rays and three 4Ks. So we're not going to waste any further time. Going, I'm going to go ahead and get started. These first, these Blu-rays that I got were both from BestBuy.com on their Black Friday sale, which is their final Black Friday sale for Blu-rays because they're discontinuing physical media, which still pisses me off, but that's besides the point. This first one is a 2022 Blu-ray of Clerks 3, which is a 2022 movie, which stars Brian O'Halloran, Jeff Anderson, Trevor Furman, and Austin Sejour with Jason Mewes and Rosario Dawson. And this is the third installment in the Clerks franchise and overall the ninth installment in the Viewesque universe. This is a Blu-ray digital combo pack and this is a Lionsgate movie. Focus camera, there you go. Special features include audio commentary with writer-director Kevin Smith and actors actors Brian O'Halloran, Jeff Anderson, Trevor Fuhrman, and Austin Sejour, The Clerks 3 documentary, We're Not Even Supposed to Be Here Today, Three Decades of Clerks documentary, Deleted and Alternate Scenes, and Theatrical Trailer. Rated R for pervasive language, crude and sexual, crude sexual material, and drug content, and it's 115 minutes. And it's co-produced by Smodco, Destino Films, and View Askew Productions. Here's the disc and the digital copy, which I already entered in. And this, me having Clerks 3 means that I have now completed my View Askew Universe movie collection. I own all of the franchise now, thanks to this. So I'm very, very, very happy to have this. I got this for only $7.99. And um, I haven't seen this one yet, so I'm going to go sit down and watch that along with the other View Askew Universe movies that I need to watch. I haven't seen yet. This next one is a uh, double feature set here. It's a two movie collection. This is the 2020 repackage of Home Alone and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Home Alone is from 1990. Home Alone 2 Lost in New York is from 1992. And Home Alone stars Macaulay Culkin, Joe Pesci, Daniel Stern, John Hurd, and Catherine O'Hara. And it Home Alone 2 Lost in New York pretty much stars the exact same cast alongside Tim Curry and Brenda Fricker. And both of these are directed by Chris Columbus, written and produced by John Hughes. This is the Blu-ray and Digital Code combo pack. They are both 20th Century Fox movies, but this is a 20th Century Studios repackage. The greatest holiday family films ever... And both of these are rated PG, although they give a reason for Home Alone 2. It's rated PG for comic action and mild language. Home Alone is uh, 103 minutes, and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York is 120 minutes. Here is the disc for... Home Alone, which is originally a 2015 disc. And Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. The copyright on the disc, it does also say 2015, but I believe this Blu-ray is from 2009. I know for a fact that Home Alone got a 4K transfer in 2015. They released that on Blu-ray, I believe, in 2015. Uh, but Home Alone 2 hasn't had a 4K transfer yet. So I believe that's the original 2009 disc. And here's the Movies Anywhere code, which I have not put in at the time of this recording. But once I'm done with this video, I this will be redeemed. So I'm hiding the codes for now. Let me just put that back so nobody gets the code. Okay. Of course, these are two pretty famous Christmas movies. I have seen the original Home Alone. It's a fantastic movie. I think I've seen bits and pieces of Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. But not the whole thing. And I believe this is the uncut version. Because I know Home Alone 2 got cut in um, pretty recently because of uh, a certain cameo that's in this movie. But I believe I have the uncut version. I believe I do. 
This is the uncut version. This is the 2009 disc. And I got that for only $6.99. So for two movies, two Christmas movies, for $6.99, I figured, hey, why not? Why not get that? Plus, it's the Christmas season, so I figured, hey, uh, it's worth buying. Okay, now we're on to the 4Ks. And this first one I have here is a 4K I've been wait meaning to get for a very long time. This is the other, this is the 4K I got on Black Friday from Best Buy. This cost me only $11.99. This is the 2022 4K of I Know What You Did Last Summer, which is, of course, a 1997 movie. Which stars Jennifer Love Hewitt, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Ryan Philippe, Freddie Prince Jr., Johnny Galecki, and Bridget Wilson. Also stars the late great Anne Heche. Directed by Jim Gillespie and written by Kevin Williamson. This is the 4K Blu-ray and digital combo pack. If you're going to bury the truth, make sure it stays buried. And it's a, this is a Columbia Pictures movie co-produced by Mandalay Entertainment. A pure fright machine that scares the hell out of you, said by Norman Wilner of Toronto Star. Special features on the 4K disc include deleted scenes, My Own Summer, an interview with director Jim Gillespie. He Knows What You Did, an interview with Muse Watson, who plays the villain, the fisherman. And on the Blu-ray disc, which is the original Blu-ray from 2008, I believe, has the filmmaker's commentary, director's short film, Joey Ride, with optional commentary, now I Know What You Did Last Summer featurette and a music video for Hush performed by Cola Shaker and Theatrical Trailer. Rated R for Strong Horror Violence and Language. It's 101 minutes. Here is the 4K disc if I can turn it around properly. Here you go. And the original 2008 Blu-ray, I can tell by the layout here, because that's the 2008 cover plus the copyright of 2008 right there. And here's the digital HD code, which I do already have this on digital. I've had it on digital for many years, so I'm going to let you guys have the digital code since I really don't need this. So there you go. Take it if you want. First come, first serve. And of course, I have seen this movie. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome movie. And there is a 4K for I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, which I am looking to get. But I'm trying to find a copy that's reasonably priced. And I can't really find it right now for less than like $27. So I might bite the bullet and buy it presumably after the holidays if I don't f see a price cut from the a price cut that's worth my time but I am going to be getting that at some point because I do like the movie to the sequel too but this first one I do prefer a little bit more now on to this steel book that I have which I got for my birthday on November the 8th from one of my sisters she got this on Amazon this is a 2023 4k of Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, which is a 2023 movie starring Tom Cruise. Of course, this is the seventh installment in the Mission Impossible franchise. This is a very, very nice steel book. Of course, this is a Paramount movie co-produced by Skydance Media. Here's the back. And I don't have the insert on me right now, but I know this movie also stars um, Simon Pegg, Rebecca Ferguson, Ving Rhames, Haley, Haley Atwell. Uh, what's his name from the first movie? I can't really remember. I know uh, the character of Kid Ridge uh, from the first movie comes back. I forget the actor's name right now. And you also have Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy, but I don't remember her name right now. Um... Here's the 4K Ultra HD disc, which contains the film and special features. And here is the... If I could take it out. The Blu-ray of the film and some of the special features. And the special features disc of the Blu-ray. And if I could take this out. Here's some of the inside artwork. Oh, crap. Come on, baby. There you go. 
And then here's these insert. Complete your mission, which is the sixth movie collection of Mission Impossible movies on 4K. Um, I own all the other movies on Blu-ray, so there you go. And the digital HD code, which I've already entered in. I did see this in the theater on opening weekend. I saw it on opening weekend in July of 2021, and this is a fucking fantastic movie. I absolutely love this movie. I can't wait to see Dead Reckoning Part 2 when it comes out, presumably in 2025 now because of the writer's strike. But this is an absolutely phenomenal movie. I would highly recommend it. Great, great movie. And the last one is a 2023 4K of the best film of the year. This is my pick for the best film of the year. And if you saw one of my previous videos last year, you saw that my favorite film of last year was Scream 5. Well... My favorite film of the year is Scream 6. No surprise there. This is a 2023 movie. Starring Melissa Barrera, Jasmine Savoy Brown, Jack Champion. Henry Cerny is who I was referring to, who played Kittredge in Mission Impossible and Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. There you go. That's that, there, he, He's listed on the back, so that's great. Mason Gooding, Liana Liberato, Dermot Moroni. Devin Nakiota, Janet Ortega, Jenna Ortega, Tony Rovioli, Josh Segura, Samara Weaving with Hayden Panettiere and Courtney Cox. This is directed by Matt but but Bettiani Open and Tyler Gillett, aka Radio Silence, who directed the last film. Also written by James Vanderbilt and Guy. Uh, how you pronounce this guy's last name? Bisquick. Bissick, excuse me. Over an hour, special features of terrifying behind-the-scenes content. This is a 4K Ultra HD plus digital code combo pack, just like the last movie. This is a Paramount movie, co-produced by now the garbage production company, Spyglass Media Group, which I'll get to why I think they're garbage in just a minute. Bigger, bloodier, and scarier, said by Tom Thomas Elendis of One Take News. Fresh, truly terrifying stuff by Heather, Heather Wixon of Daily Dead. Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega are forced to be reckoned with, said by David Gonzalez of the Cinematic Reel. Special features include Face Your Fears over an hour of heart pounding killer bonus features. Go inside the terrifying sequel to the requel as the cast and crew give you a behind the scenes look of. Uh, of the filming of all your favorite scenes. So there's a bunch of featurettes on the disc. I know there's an audio commentary as well on the disc with the director, one of the directors, and I believe some one of the writers, I believe, or maybe both writers. Can't quite remember right now. Rated R for strong bloody violence and language route and brief drug use. And it's 122 minutes, making this the longest film in the Scream franchise. Here's the actual case. Bit of a thicker case. Here is the disc and the digital HD code, which of course I've already entered on the back. Do you like scary movies? There's an advertisement for Scream on 4K, which of course I have. Scream 2 on 4K, which I also have. Scream 5 on 4K, which I have. And Smile, which I do not have. I think there's a typo here because Smile says it's rated R. I believe that's actually false. I believe it is PG-13. I think it's PG-13. I could be wrong. I, I, I swore it was PG-13, but maybe I could be dead wrong. I don't know. It's been a while. But this is my favorite film of the year, obviously. This is a phenomenal sequel to Scream 5, and actually, I think I do prefer this over 5, actually. As for Spyglass Media Group being crappy, well, you probably saw the news, if you look up, if you see the news um, about this on, like, Reddit or social media. Spyglass fired Melissa Barrera over comments she made about Palestine and uh, that whole thing going on between them and um, Israel. And Jenna Ortega, they didn't want to pay her, which is fucking ridiculous. And she left the project. Same thing, because that's why Nev Campbell isn't in this movie either, because they lowballed her, they couldn't pay her, 
And now Scream 7 is looking like it's fucking dead. And this is going to be pr practically the last installment. If they make another Scream movie, it's probably going to be a fucking remake. And I don't want that. I don't want a f another fucking reboot. So fuck this. I'm considering C Scream 6 to be the final installment until Spyglass gets their act together or sells the rights or whatever the heck it's going to happen with the project. Or Paramount takes over, Miramax takes over, I don't know. But for now, this is the last installment of the franchise because fuck Spyglass. That's it for this update. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will likely be another movie collection video.